I saw Watership Down at the right age, right at the moment when I was, uh, I was about 13, 14, and uh, I was leaving behind my childhood and entering my teen years, and the movie was sort of a rite of passage, yeah. because I saw a level of realism and drama and violence in animation. There's no need to take you back. Come on and try, you crack brain slave driver. And it was such a watershed moment that I then decided to read the book. I came to the book after the film, and I then read uh, Plague Dogs and read Girl in a Swing, and I really became quite enamored of uh, his prose. But the film was the moment in which uh, a kid my age came to realize animation was not just a medium for children's stories, but it could be something else. It is a very old tradition to utilize animals to address social issues. You can do it through engravings like Grand Bill, or you can do it through animal metaphors that are very heavy, like Animal Farm or, uh, you know, Mouse later in a comic book form. But what was really powerful for me uh, with Watership Down is that it was uh, not trying to just mirror uh, sociopolitical concerns. It was creating a world with sociopolitical concerns. When I say adult concerns, the novel and the film address a variety of things from making peace with mortality all the way to ecological concerns, the overgrow of uh, urban spaces and the destruction of natural spaces, bravery, the idea of community, the idea of oppression. These things that you find in adult discourse and in adult novels uh, outside the realm of um, discussion for children were all in the film for me.